So much anticipation for the Street Fighter 6 game that will unfold next year. As a community that loves and cherishes the characters, we feel it's right for us to give you an idea on the timeline and the story of each of these icons. Follow the events of one of our favorite Final Fight characters, Cody. From his first Final Fight appearance to his crossover in the Street Fighter platform. His relationship with Hagger. Why did he go to prison? Without further ado, let me welcome you to the Street Fighterverse. As stated by fandom, Cody has practiced boxing and martial arts since he was nine. He has a girlfriend who has been a sweetheart since childhood, Jessica. Cody also took care of his younger brother, Kyle, being somewhat of a father figure to him. In the original final fight, Cody teams up with his best friend, rival, Guy, and the mayor of Metro City, Mike Hager, to save Jessica, Hager's daughter, from Belger, the leader of the Mad Gear gang. Cody takes on many Mad Gear's worst thugs, including Dam D, the first Mad Gear gang member, to kidnap Jessica and Eddie E, a corrupt police officer who uses a gun and police baton against Cody, making the fight very difficult to win. His penchant for fighting often leaves the others free to pursue the other bosses of Metro City. In the end, Cody confronted Belger on the top floor of his penthouse, and after a tough battle, Cody was able to use an uppercut to knock Belger through a window, sending Belger plummeting from the top floor to his death on the street below. Cody is then celebrated as the hero of Metro City, and Jessica herself wants to celebrate with Cody. But Cody tells Jessica that he can't sit still while evil continues to walk the streets. After sharing a passionate kiss with Jessica, Cody leaves the city for parts unknown. Cody would soon reappear in Final Fight Revenge, which is chronologically set between the events of Final Fight and Street Fighter Alpha 3. He returned to Metro City after a year of traveling, where he learned that Mad Gear Gang is beginning to reform and that his girlfriend Jessica has gone missing after a series of riots that occurred in the city following the destruction of Mad Gear. Hoping to prove himself that he is Jessica's hero, Cody tried once more to come to her rescue, battling many thugs along the way. Sadly, Cody wouldn't get the chance to continue his search for Jessica, as he was arrested by Eddie E for crimes that were committed by Mad Gear member Poison and the many street fights that Cody had participated in from his time. Jessica's whereabouts in the game are never resolved in any of the playable characters' endings. However, the design sketches for Cody from Street Fighter 03, as well as the Street Fighter 03 secret file book, would establish that Hagger was able to rescue Jessica and that she and Cody had ended their relationship on a bitter note due to Cody being jailed for his reckless street fighting and that Jessica had decided to take a trip to study abroad in Europe. In Street Fighter Alpha 3, Cody broke out of prison after a riot ensued. During his travels, he met up with Eddie E, who was trying to recapture him, Rolento, and even Guy once more. Rolento wanted him to join his militant movement, which Cody refused after a heated argument. Guy, meanwhile, wanted to reform Cody and get him back on the good path, but Cody said that he was no hero and basically lived for fighting. The two then had their own battle, but after the two calmed down, Guy accepted the fact that his friend had to live his own life. The two separated afterward when Guy asked if Cody would stay in Metro City, but Cody said he still had traveling to do. Guy bade him farewell, realizing that deep down inside, Cody is still a good person. In Street Fighter 4, apparently bored of prison life, Cody casually breaks out of prison, telling the irritated guard that he'll be back soon enough. He ventures outside. While out, Cody sees a familiar face his old friend and rival Guy, and the two spar. Cody's main motivation seems to be finding a way to alleviate his boredom by participating in SIN's tournament. After defeating Seth, Guy confronts Cody again, assuming there's still a bit of good left in him, asking if he vanquished a great evil for the sake of what's right. He doesn't directly deny it. Cody claims that he only did it because Seth was in his way, making Guy assume that he has no intention of returning. When given the question, Cody states he'll be returning to his prison cell, where he belongs. In Street Fighter V Prologue, Mike Hager exonerates Cody of his crimes, which leads to him being the new mayor of Metro City. Now no longer a prisoner, he finds the job tedious and boring, but he secretly finds an opportunity in his new position as mayor to finally clean Metro City of its criminal activities in person, both physically and while at his desk, just like how his immediate predecessor and himself did way back. In his Street Fighter V Prologue, in a cab, Cody is sitting alongside his assistant, Marlo, who informs him on a delayed appointment. She becomes annoyed that he doesn't seem to listen to her and informs him to fix his behavior as the mayor. 
explaining how the previous mayor, Mike Hager, asked her to support Cody. Cody quickly stops the cab and sees a monster truck illegally parked. He discovers the owner is his former enemy, Abigail. After getting into a fight with him, Cody informs Abigail that he illegally parked his truck and the latter immediately recognizes Cody, much to his surprise. Cody tells Abigail that he wants to improve the qualities of Metro City and to make everyone smile by taking down garbage like Abigail. Cody reflects about how he has gone from a vigilante to a jailbird and now as the mayor of Metro City. He suddenly sends someone's presence, revealed to be Seku. Seku informs him that he could help him manage the local government. Cody challenges him into a fight, wanting to see his skills. After defeating him, Cody turns down the offer, knowing he can't have shady work in his position. Marlow turns up and scolds Cody for his actions in street fighting, especially since he had damaged one of the streetlights during his fight with Seku. So what did you like about Cody's timeline in the final fight and in Street Fighter? Let us know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on new theories and info. Thank you for watching. This has been your Street Fighter host. Welcome to the center stage. Discord server. There you can talk with us, chat about current events going on in Street Fighter, information, theories, and lore. We'll leave the link in the description box below. We want to thank everyone for tuning in and becoming part of the Street Fighter community. We want to thank you for your positive comments towards our channel because it only habilitates us to grow even more. From the Street Fighterverse crew, we thank you.